Living alone? Oh my god, I can't even explain. Uh, I feel like I'm a veteran of living alone because last night, last night, the whole city froze and I didn't have power for 18 hours. No power, it was freezing in here. And it's not like my car is gonna turn on. Anyway, can you believe I have been living in my apartment alone for five years? If you do live alone and you tell someone that in this economy, oh my God, they're gonna be like, wow. It's like, it should be an age requirement, right? Like 16, you get your driver's license, 18, you're an adult, 21 you can drink, 25 you live alone. Like that's it. I need to be president right now. <laughs> Let's get into a few of the reasons why I freaking love living alone. One of the main beauties of living alone is you create the world that you wish you lived in. Shoot, where am I going with this? Well, basically, well, where am I going? Basically, if you grew up with really strict parents, maybe you just did not enjoy your living environment growing up. You had siblings who, they just kind of ruined your main character moment. You know what I mean? Or like any situation where your environment, your living environment was just not that great. This is such a great opportunity uh, for you to start over. Explore your individuality. Uh, I did a little too much exploring on my individuality and, um, wasn't really happy with the results. I was like, you know, <laughs> I'm kind of a weird girl. And being alone really, really intensified that emotion. Like I genuinely, it was like the main character energy was so intense uh, that I started to like disassociate. Like sometimes when you live alone, it's incredible because you can do the weirdest stuff. Like there was during the pandemic, there was like three weeks where I would watch the entire Twilight series every day like one movie one day the second movie the next day like and i would just repeat this for three weeks um and it got so bad that i started to disassociate <laughs> i'm not even lying like it was really really bad because i really love the series um i'm not like a vampire girly but i just like i really needed that series in that moment of like darkness in my life i watched it so much by myself that i was like this isn't real they're actors this isn't even like a real love story like it just it got really out of hand and so i really had to rein it in where am i going why is that a positive i've learned so much i learned more about myself than i think i would have ever learned living with my parents a roommate or a significant other or even like a pet do you know what i mean like i just feel like I can only rely on myself. Last night, for example, there's nothing I can do without power except just wait it out and call the electricity company uh, every hour. Okay, so your 20s are already filled with judgment, right? Judgment, comparison, you feel like you can't really do what you wanna do because everyone has a camera, everyone is gossiping, everyone has an expectation for you. Like being in your 20s is so, so hard, but within these four walls, there is no judgment. Truly, I mean, unless you like really hate yourself, which I've been there, <laughs> these four walls will see all that you have to offer, uh, good and bad. Yeah, um, 90% of the time when I'm roaming around my apartment, um, I look so heinous. I'm not even like just saying that, like it looks so bad where I genuinely, <laughs> I'm like, you know, thank God I live alone. Because when you live with a roommate or someone else, I feel like you kind of have to look a little bit presentable, but there's no judgment in these walls. I have been at my lowest. I literally cry so hard in the shower uh, where I wonder if my downstairs <laughs> neighbor can hear me. And sometimes I think she can because sometimes she'll just check in and be like, hey, like, hey, Nagin, are you doing okay? And she's like an older woman. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm okay. And yeah, it's really interesting. I've had like the weirdest, the weirdest shit happened to me in my apartment by myself. Like, honestly, living alone, oh my God, I can't even explain. There will be, like, the, and I mentioned this in all my videos, but truly when you move into your place by yourself or like you're just having one of those amazing days where you're looking around, sorry, in your home <laughs> and you're like, this is mine. It's incredible. You know, I'm a gal who deals with depression, anxiety. I'm so empathetic. I miss people constantly. I'm like mainly crying because I miss people and their company. And if I can do it, I promise you, I promise you, you can do it too. Living alone is such 
it's such a unique time in our lives. Living alone is not for the faint of heart, but that's the beauty of it, right? If you can do this and like do it for you and have a chance to be with yourself and suffer, but also enjoy those moments, I think that's like the best thing you could ever experience in this world. Like one of the best. I mean like, I love living alone, but I definitely feel like there's like other great things in this world, but um. I feel like I have like a list of things that I'm kind of going through, but it, it's more of like a me talking to you as a friend. Another thing that I really want to stress is something that I wish I did four years ago and that went, well, five years ago, and that is getting a ring camera. This is not sponsored, but dude, it is life changing. Like, why did I go so long without getting a ring camera? At first I was kind of embarrassed because I live in an apartment complex and I'm like, maybe it's kind of weird that I have a ring camera and I'm in a complex, you know what I mean? But no, get it immediately. It's so great, especially if you're a super Snoopy. For example, like the reason I got it was because I had a really, really uncomfortable experience with a maintenance guy. On this wall is a YouTube plaque and I hate, I hate when men that I do not know come into my apartment and they have questions. They're like, oh, are you a YouTuber? Like it makes me uncomfortable because I don't want you to look me up I don't want you to ask questions about what's in my home. Like, it genuinely makes me uncomfortable. And like, that's like one of the worst parts about living alone and being a female is like, you gotta be on edge. Like you cannot be too friendly with these guys or people because they can take advantage of you, right? Like, I'm not gonna be like, oh my God, yeah, I'm a YouTuber, look at my videos. Like, no. Anyway, so this maintenance guy came and he just kept asking these weird questions like, oh, like how many subscribers do you need to get that? And like. Um, what kind of videos do you make? Oh, you must be famous, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, can you go? Like, it just, oh my God. I really, really, it made me cry that whole night. And I actually had an anxiety attack because in that moment I was like, what do I do? Like, if this guy comes back for me, like he knows where I live, he has a key to my place. Like, these are thoughts that I have every so often with living alone. And it really, really sucks. And I'm not gonna lie to you, but I had pepper spray, whatever. Like, that's not the point of it. So anyway, the next day, I immediately ordered a ring camera. A link down below, both the two things that I got. So one of it was the ring camera for like an apartment. And then I also got one where like it sticks to your, like the side part of your door so that you don't have to drill anything. And it's so, it gives me such a peace of mind because I had made a maintenance request like a week later and I saw a different maintenance guy come and then I could see that he entered my apartment even though I said no, but he seemed really sweet and he changed like a good couple light bulbs. But um, yeah, and also it's like really nice if you think you forgot to lock the door. Yeah, I love that. Um, but yeah, a ring camera, I wish I did it so much sooner because to be honest with you, you don't really know these days, like who's walking by your apartment? Who's making sure you're not home or are home? It's like, it's weird. There were so many random nights years ago where I would get like a random knock on the door and it would like traumatize me. <laughs> like I would be absolutely unwell. I'd be so startled and just sit there like in silence, like wondering if I was gonna get another knock again. And it always comes down to like, you just gotta take care of yourself. Like who, who am I gonna call other than like the police, right? So I think that's what's made me like really, really confident in myself and my ability to just kind of like, you know, like whatever happens, I just have to deal with it. I cannot rely on anyone else. So another question you're probably wondering is like, how do you, like, do you enjoy being alone? Do you, like, how do you entertain yourself? Do you ever feel lonely? And if I didn't love living alone, like I would be struggling with that. But like, I honestly, maybe it's because I grew up as an only child and I can really entertain myself for hour, 18 hours without electricity. What do you think I did? Literally TikTok for 18 hours. <laughs> you just gotta make it work. Find things that like excite you. And like, that's my favorite part about being home is like, I love being in a clean apartment. I love that I can like watch my favorite movies. I love that I can just find things that I love. You know, when you live with a roommate or with someone, it's like you don't have an opportunity to grow or get out of your comfort zone because someone's always there to entertain you. Someone's always there to talk to you. But like when you're by yourself, you have to try harder. And maybe that's not as like appealing for those of you, maybe if you move to a new city, but I don't know. It's kind of nice. I really love it. Like it's such a cozy, cozy night. 
So the last thing I wanted to talk about is that your relationships actually improve when you live alone. So whenever you kind of, um, when you live with a roommate, I feel like it hinders you from meeting new people, hanging out with a new crew. You're kind of like always hanging out with this person. You guys, whenever you hang out with someone or a group of friends a lot, you don't grow you begin to have polarizing thoughts, right? Like all of your thoughts become the same, the conversations become the same, and you're not learning from different people, right? Like different humans who have had their own life experiences that pop into your life. You're not really learning from them because you're continuously hanging out with the same group of people. I feel like my relationship with my parents has really strengthened over time. I feel like I've really grown up. When I lived with a roommate and when I lived with my ex, there wasn't really an opportunity to find myself and then share who I've become to my close friends and family. For example, these days when I go through like a struggle in my life, I know how to articulate it better and share that with my friends and family as opposed to like if I was living with my boyfriend or with my roommate, I don't think I would open up to my parents because I could always just talk to my boyfriend or my roommate. It's very interesting. You know what, to close this video, living alone is really bizarre. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is a really weird experience. And every day is an incredible day, honest to God. Like even yesterday when I didn't have power, such a good day. I just was like with myself and I just made it a good day. You know what I mean? Like you just make it work and you learn to really love yourself and be gentle with yourself. Like that's the end of it. Honestly, it's a challenge, but it's so, so rewarding. If you like this topic and you like this video, I have so many other videos kind of just talking about all facets of living alone. But if you want more videos like this where I'm just sitting down and not really giving like number one, number two, like and more just like talking, um, let me know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you are moving into your apartment very soon, I do have an apartment checklist and an apartment budget spreadsheet available for you. The checklist is like $1. So <laughs> what else do you need? Anyway, and everything in that checklist, anything that you see in my apartment is like hyperlinked into that checklist. So anyway, wishing you the best of luck. If you're currently living alone, I'm proud of you. You got this and just, Listen to your gut, make good decisions, be safe, and you got this. Alrighty, well, I will see you in my next video. Bye, you guys.